Hello and welcome to yet another Energen video. In this video we are going to create many kinds of the same object and I'm going to show you how to interact with each of them and how to draw them all to the screen. So we're going to need something called an array list, which basically is something that can store multiple variables or objects. And this is how we create one. Private or whatever you public or whatever you want and an array list and inside these brackets you type in the type of the object and we're just going to use a simple sprite object and we're going to call it points this is going to be the thing we pick up and when we pick them up we will increase our score okay first of all we're going to initialize our points we can do this on create scene if you feel like it so for example points x equals new array list sprite Oops. you need to initialize it first otherwise you will get an array index out of bound error and that will crash your application so we have initialized them now we need to create an image Oops. it's going to use this And you know what, I might as well use the code I had before. Point object image equals the bitmap texture atlas and I already created an image called point. And we just need to create this eye texture region over here. Texture region point object image. And we need to initialize our points and now we can attach them to the screen if we want to we're going to do it over here adds our point object so we're going to use a temporary object called temp object which is going to be a sprite new sprite and we're going to set it at the position minus 50 and 0 on y and we're going to have the image this dot point object image and then this dot get vertex buffer object manager so right now we have created a temporary object we cannot refer to it in any way at least not if we have multiple of them because it will just overwrite itself so what we need to do now we need to add this object into our array list in order to do that you type in the array list name and then a dot to access the methods inside of it and then add the object you want to add which will be a temporary object so this will place this object at the position 0 inside this array list basically it looks something like this each, pos each position can contain one object or variable for example temp object one and then if you create another it will be at the first index since it's from zero to and onwards and it doesn't start at one so temp object one will have the zero index position and our next object will have the first position and so on so now that we have added it we can also attach it to the screen attach child temp object so we have attached the object to the screen also and we can refer to it from the array list and now we can just overwrite it our temporary object, new sprite we can place it at 0, 0 this dot point object image this dot get vertex buffer object manager and we added this one to the points to the array list, temp object and we attach it to the scene so we now have two objects at different posi positions and we can access them all in by using our array list. I'm just going to copy this. Uh, 50, 100, and minus 100. Getting an error because I, have already I haven't initialized it yet, so we're going to do this. So we now have one, one, two, three, four, five objects. 
We have attached them to the screen. Okay, we are now going to check and go through if they collide with each other. It is really, okay, not really easy to do, but once you get it, it is. You need to create a for loop that goes through all of your objects inside your array list. So to do this, we set a variable i to zero, and as long as i is less than the size of our array list points that size, we will loop through it all the time until it is more than the size, and we will increase i by one every time. So we're going to check if it collides, and you do this by points dot get i dot collides with our circle object. So basically what this means is it checks if the object at the position i which in the first loop will be zero so it checks if this position in the array collides with our circle and if it does we will do the code over here and we will attach our point if it does if it and then afterwards it will go again and check if the size is bigger than i and if it is we will go through it again and we will check for the next position which will be our temporary object 2 so yeah that's how i explain it hopefully you get it so every time we collide we're going to increase score by 100 and we're actually going to draw the score to the screen in the next video as a text object and then we're just going to detach the points points dot dot get i dot detach self so everything should work now just gonna go ahead and run the game and it should start any moment Let's see. As you see, we can walk over them, and if we remove one, we do not remove every one of the object. As you can see, it works like a charm. So yeah, that was probably all for this video. And one thing I would like to point out, if you're going to design a game or something like that, you do not want to use the current resolution that we are using in this game program. Because 480 by 640 is very, very, very low. And if you use it on a regular device, it will just scale up everything and it will look ugly and messy. I would recommend you to use this resolution, 1280 by 720. It is what I'm using for my current game I'm working on. And it fits perfectly onto my Galaxy S4 device and it is somewhat popular, so yeah. You, you should also try and use as high resolution as possible because it looks better if you scale it down than if you scale it up so do not use a low resolution like we are using in the tutorials I will probably change that in the future so yeah, uh, that was all for this video I showed you how to create many kinds of the same object by using an array list and I sh also showed you how to access each one of them by using a for loop and then points that get i which gets the current object and then you could check if it collides by dot collides with our circle object. And we also detach the objects when we hit them and increase the score by 100. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you a lot for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a thumbs up. And maybe even share the videos to others that are interested in programming. It would really help a lot. So, bye bye.